Hey, are you ready for the... Because today we're going to talk about installing the runs in the simple air raid offense. And let's just get into it. The first run is in the simple air raid offense is going to be the inside zone. And the reason why I like the inside zone, one, it's easy and it handles all the fronts. Two, you get multiple reps every single practice. And three, it is the bedrock. It ties into the pass protections. Now, the way we're going to draw it up is that I have a two by two against an even front. Defensive coaches, do not run your freaking mouth when I run this against the even front. It's the easiest thing to do, and this is the simple air raid. And we're going to show you how to run it. So let's get into it. Now, this formation, you can call it two, you can call it a couple of things, actually. You can call it dual, you can call it open, you can call it ace. Whatever it is, it's two by two. The L and the R are usually the X and the Z. Uh, you just keep them on their same side. So the L stays on the left side, the R stays on the right side, the F and the Y change. But in this formation, two by two, the Y stays to the right. And we just do a simple gap scheme style blocking of the inside zone where we have our guys take three steps. And if anybody is in his gap, he takes them. If not, he climbs. So that is what we are doing like this. We really don't want to work on double teams or anything like that because we want our running back to be right. We just want to get in the way of the lineman, make the running back, make the big guys right. And this is the aiming point for the running back. He is going to be hitting the center's butt. He is downhill and he is either got a bang it in the A gap or bend it to the backside A gap. The quarterback, what he is doing is he is reading whoever comes off the C gap. Very important, the C gap, this ties into the next run as well. If this guy crashes up, he hands the ball off. If he crashes down, the quarterback pulls and runs. Now let's get into some film and let me show you what I'm talking about. Real quick, just before anybody asks, the splits from the line are anywhere between two to three feet. Obviously, I like it wider if you can keep it wider. If not, no less than two feet. Here's the film. So here's an example of us running our inside zone out of a bunch formation, but I wanted you to see why it's very important to run right at the center's butt. When you plant, run at the center's butt, you can cut it back and then look at all that uh, all that space. This is why it's very important to make a cutback because that is where the space is. You wanna go where the defense is not and that is where it is. It's in the cutback, it's not bouncing it outside. Now that's very difficult to teach your running back. So later on in a, another video, I'm gonna talk about the drills you need in order to be successful in the inside zone. Now let's get to the second run in the uh, simple air raid offense. The second run you need to end this offense is counter. It's unbelievable and it, it's a good thing when defenses are trying to pinch and shoot those gaps and try to take away the A to A. Now the counter allows you to bounce it outside and I'm gonna draw it up right now. Here's a little tip for you. Always run the counter to the three technique. It really works with the angles and helps your players out. That's what we like to do. We usually say bounce, bounce and that says that we're switching it to whatever side. So you're blocking down on the uh, front side, you're pulling the guard, kicking out, pulling the tackle, wrapping them to the first linebacker in the box, and you are reading the end. If the end flies up, then the quarterback hands it. If the end crashes down, the quarterback pulls it and runs. And our aiming point that we tell the uh, running back is the front side A gap or B gap or C gap. This is where we give him the ability to bang bounce or get to the outside and I'm going to show you some film to prove that we actually do this. Here we are again in our three by one. Don't want you to worry about that. I want you to notice how we are running our counter. We are bouncing the back over and then what his aiming point is is right down the centers but that a gap and see how we all block down kick out, wrap, and we just hit it straight down the middle for a nice score. It's a very simple play and it really works well. So those are the two runs that you need in your offense, especially in the simple air raid offense. And if you wanna know how to pass it and what else to install, click this video right here.